Hello and welcome to Piss Off, the Rylan based comedy show. I'm your host, Trouble. And I'm your host, Michael Crow. Um, what is that? It sounds negative. I oh, know, it's from the notebook, babe. Oh. Alright. Um, we're going to have an apology for last week um, because no straight people should have to see two dudes kiss no matter how handsome they are. That's right. That's right. So. So, we have a treat for you. Ladies? ladies. I think this is a treat for Wait, me. why does your mouth taste like dick? Why does your mouth taste like dick? Back under the table. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, that does bring up a good point, though. Why, uh, how do you know what dick tastes like? I've kissed you before. Fuck you, man. Wow, I'm done. Okay, well, I'm your host, Trouble, and this is Trouble's Truths. I've talked to you before about being lovesick and lovestruck and love drunk. Love drunk is my favorite. It's when the uh, feeling, the emotion poisons your brain and you have no idea or grasp with reality. Um, but today I'm going to talk to you about obsession or being crazy in love. Crazy in love is only okay if you're hot. It creates this cloud of... Uh, this, this like, ignorance is bliss, everything in the world is okay kind of cloud. In your face! <laughs> I'm not Meg, put your dick away. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, um, crazy's only okay if you're hot, such as Mike's chart! Yes, I brought a crazy hot chart for everyone to see. Um, basically what this shows is that say you're dealing with a girl who's um, from about a one to a three. Uh, she can be just a little bit crazy. You're not really going to put up with that for very long. Uggos need love, and they should put up with you, not you put up with them. I agree with that. And, you know, these are like the last call girls. You know, they can be this crazy if it's like, you know, drunk end of the night or whatever. But long-term relationship-wise, you know, you got to have... You, you can't be too crazy. You'll see as the list goes up, it goes steady until we get up to about an 8. Now, when you hit an 8 in hotness... Um, you're dealing with about as crazy as a girl gets. If a girl's that hot, then you'll deal with some craziness. Like you know me. what I mean? Well, for example... I like crazy. Oh. I do like crazy, too. But, for example, I was dating a girl a while back. We'll call her Fraulein. Now, um, I had gone to sleep one night. Fraulein, was she German? She was German. Right, I had gone to so. sleep one night. I woke up in the middle of the night. It was about 3 in the morning. And she was sitting there, and she was just looking at me. Just and I'm like... Yeah, and she actually did have the big, she was hot, you know, blonde, big breasts, big doe eyes. I found out those were actually the big crazy eyes. Oh, yeah. Right? Easily um, mistaken, like Katy Perry. Right, exactly. So, I look at her, I'm like, oh, honey, what's going on? Why are you up? She's like, oh, just go back to sleep. <clears throat> so, I go back to sleep for the night. I wake up about 8 in the morning, and she's still sitting in the same spot, looking at me. She confessed to me that she was uh, waiting to stab me to death. She was thinking about stabbing me to death all night. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> that calls for morning sex. That actually did call for morning <laughs> exactly. sex. I actually, um, because she was so hot, even though, you know, that's like a 10 crazy, because she was so hot, I continued to date her for uh, about six months after that. I just made my roommate hide all the knives. That kind of crazy you have to have sex with all the time. Right. This here, she's too tired to murder you. Right. And then, you know, you get into, like, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. You know? Um, she's, like, a 10, 11, 12, whatever hotness you want to talk hot, about. Hot, hot. hot. Yeah, like, but, like, Tomb Raider hot. Right. That's hot. But she just, she just cut her tits off. So, so that is, like, that's way in the crazy scale. So I'd like to see, honestly, what Brad Pitt does. Because does cutting her tits off drop her below that 8 towards around a 7? To the point where he's going to say, she's too crazy for me to deal with. I understand. I, I have no opinion on this, honestly. No, no, no. Because no matter how crazy she is, I'd hit that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'd hit that. Yeah, even with no tits, I'd Over that. and over and over. The kind of crazy you have to keep tired. Right. So, um, our current event this week, our current event, um, the there's a gentleman's club I think you and I have both in, uh, been in. I actually have the shirt to prove it. Cheaters. The Gentleman Club Cheaters in Providence. Great, um, great place for a bachelor party, hence the name. Great place for a bachelor party, yeah. And an after party with strippers from that club. Um, 
<laughs> anyway, so, yeah. um, they're recently in the news because they uh, they have a 15 year old prostitute who is working there. And that's right. In Rhode Island, you have to be 16 to strip. Actually, that was you know this same thing happened a couple years ago. It wasn't a problem. It was like a 14 year old girl uh, prostituting one of these clubs, and the club nobody got in trouble because. The uh, because there was no law on the books. There's only one way into trouble. <laughs> through the back. <laughs> through the nose. Oh, through the through nose. The nose. Okay. Only way to get into trouble. So, um, <laughs> but problems did arise. Right, problems did arise. So I I heard that the pimp showed up um, with with the girl in question. Um, they had a fake ID for her, and he said, you know, she looks 15, but she strips at a 16 year old level. <laughs> That's right. And she reads at a third grade level. That's right. Heck a cat. cat. <laughs> yeah, fuck this, I'll be a stripper. That's right. That's what I'd be saying. So, but do you think the club should be held accountable for that situation? Yes. Honestly, if, uh, if your employer hired somebody who was an illegal immigrant, mm -hmm. would ICE look at them differently and say, oh, you didn't know? Oh, my bad. I didn't know you didn't know. No, no. that's true. They'd say, fuck you. You're the boss. You should know. And there were a couple tells. I mean, the girl was uh, the girl was stripping. You know, she was dancing uh, and taking lollipops as tips as well as cash. And she couldn't work during school hours. True. And um, the, her stage name was Fifteen to Life. That's right. <laughs> oh. oh man. Uh, okay. Okay. So underage stripping is wrong. Um, let's move on to the disturbing photo. Oh, what do we have for a disturbing photo? Holy. Poor little white guy. <laughs> oh, one of those guys is named Chaos. I know a Chaos, honestly. I and know. if I had to guess, that would be him. Oh, He's all like, I'm gonna get me some white chocolate. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh. I love how everybody else is all badass, like gangsta yo. Yeah. And he's just like, mm, okay. Yeah, even the white guy, look at even the white guy's got his, got his yeah. uh, I, I'm kind of a thug face right. on. But, but thug this little black guy, maybe, maybe he's the poor little white guy. Maybe. I think it's, I think it's gang initiation. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to show you what it takes. Oh my God. So. I, um, I don't want to see this movie. I'm pretty sure, what is that, Bacchus Films? I bet you your roommate might have it. Oh. You could just glimpse at it. I, I'm all set. Okay. With that, 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 that ain't even right. Okay. So. Anyways. Um, you know what wicked pisses me off? Girls who have poor grooming habits. I agree. Ladies, listen. It's called going down, not flossing. Trim the hedges a little bit, okay? I hate it when they have that happy tail going, happy trail going from like their like chest down. I mean, from their belly button. Their down. chest yeah, down. From the belly button. Down. <laughs> I don't want to be with that one. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah, but I mean, you know, I, I've been with some girls. So you're looking at like '70s mama muff. There, it's like a big bush and everything, and they're like, they're like, eat me out, eat me out, and it's like, uh, <laughs> put a razor to it. Jungle love. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. I'm a guy. I I, I do a little oh. bit, bit of manscaping here and there. I've pretty much got the Larry from the Three Stooges going on. You know, it's uh, it's bald at the top, got a couple tufts of hair at the sides. Not not close and Larry from Perfect Strangers with the big like. No, no, hair. that's 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 uh, whole that's different real Larry. Much. Exactly. But gotcha. that much said, ladies have something. Don't have nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Most guys, and I will stress most, most. guys, don't want to go down on a twelve-year-old girl. Most. 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 Myself we, included. We know if you like. Included. I, I personally choose not to. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I like that. I like the little, uh, little, you know, either the Hitler stash or the little uh, I like landing the, strap. I like the Hitler. Oh, I know you I'm do. A per, I'm a fan of the Hitler. The little stripe. Love it. Sometimes bear is okay, you know. Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> just, you're only a fan of the, the Hitler stash, huh? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Anyways, um, you know what wicked pisses me off? Out of control kids. Out of control kids, yes. I'm sorry. I'm a good parent. I invested time. I did classes in school and shit. My daughter is on point. She might be a little too sensitive emotionally, but honestly, I think that's from good upbringing. Because she's not out of control. Yeah, and I mean, some uh, sensitive emotionally, that's something that somebody grows out of from exactly. being desensitized by life for long enough. Exactly. I mean, I blame the parents. Me too. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Out of control kids is because of irresponsible parents. Exactly. I um you know, I think there should be a test. 
<laughs> if you fail, your kids are taken away. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying before, before you even procreate a test, yeah. the test should have one question on it. That question should be, are you fucking retarded? Most people, once again, are going to answer no. The ones who answer yes, you obviously say, okay, well, have a nice day. Why? Bye-bye. Why? Right. But, you know, obviously most people are going to say no. Now, the true test is not the question. The true test is what happens afterwards. The parents who come in and they're like, you know, that, that, that question on that test, it really wasn't, it was inappropriate. Those people you look at and say, well, that's fine. Go home. Have a nice day. You don't know how to deal with life. No baby for you. Three years. <laughs> that's right. So on that note, um, be a good parent and groom yourself. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, from us to piss off, piss have a off. wonderful month. <laughs>